Should I go to bed? <sighs> Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. Let's see what we want to do today. Ah, we don't have a spare speed boost. Do we just need the seaweed or... We need paper and seaweed. We actually already have the ink. Okay. Hold on, Thomas. I'll be right there. I'll just, um, water my plants first. You're a fellow farmer. You'll understand. There we go. All right. What's up? Hi, Thomas. <laughs> Your grandma? She was. Strange, for sure. But she had respect for the land. Our families were close. And Hazel was special. <laughs> yeah. She was. She always wanted you to love this place as much as she did. So, I'm gonna teach you farming. For her. Yeah. Great. When do we start? Right now's as good a time as any. Take these cotton seeds and plant them. But you better plant them quick. They take a while to grow and they only grow in summer. You can buy more cotton seed from me and a few other things if you need. You can grow this cotton and turn it into cloth. That makes a bit of money. Dyed cloth is even better. Come see me when you're ready to learn about making cloth. Oh, great. Excited for summer, Thomas? Well... It brings its own challenges. My mom taught me to use trees to shade your crops, especially in summer. So I've been checking in with every tree, having a little chat, making sure they're healthy. Nah, no, that's sweet. I just planted a whole lot of stuff yesterday. Uh, maybe... Maybe I'll make some more of those garden beds. See if I can put them anywhere on my teeny tiny plot of land where I can put stuff. Uh, what do I want to make? Juice press? Fermentation barrel? I guess it's between these. I can make both actually. The juice press. And the fermentation barrel. Hmm. Do I want to move the juice press though? Having uh, had experience of how finicky it can be to get the game to select the uh, production thingy that I wanted to select. Grapes. Hops. Okay. Apple, grape, orange, carrot. Olive. Nice. We'll be able to make beer this summer, at least. And now we have plenty of paper for the incantations. Let's make one more compost bin. Except, we need more wood. We need to clear this bit of land anyway. 
so may as well start gathering the wood from here. There we go. Now there's just the uh, big stone or rock over there to clear away. It would be great to have that plot of land added to the area that we can use to grow crops in. Let's see. We do want more garden beds. We can put one here, but... Um... Is there any other place where we can put one? Mm. Well, if we move the beehives... Yeah, because we only need a narrow passage to be able to get there and take care of the uh, the middle garden beds, the one that we can't access from the uh, from kind of outside of that plot, kind of from the sides. This should work. I think that's the most uh, things that we can have here. Ah, oh, we have two cotton seeds, conveniently. Alright. Let's water them. Maybe we'll also want to use the speed boost and harvest boost. And yeah, harvest boost as well. I think. Those will take a while longer. And I can use these potions on the compost bins. But the Miracle Grow doesn't make sense. The Harvest Boost, though, absolutely. So whenever we find those shells and and mandrake we'll make the uh, harvest boost potions and then we'll be able to use it on the compost bins and get to 50 soil sooner and once we get to 50 soil we'll be able to commission the second field to grow crops in. Or the second area to grow crops in. Hello kitty. Would you like some fish? Minnow for lunch? <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? 
No forageables up here. Nope. Hmm. Well, let's check over here. We need those weeds. To be able to keep up the soil production. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Still didn't mean to do that. There we go. I'm sure I will get better at uh, paying attention to which thing is highlighted when taking actions in the future. You've contributed a lot to Fairhaven, Terra, but this might top the list. I am very impressed. Ho there! As you may have heard, we have a little tradition every summer here in Fairhaven. Yes, the uh, summer festival. I know. Oh, well, you're right on top of things, aren't you? I like that in a citizen. Speaking of which, I could use some help. I was waiting for that. With my speech, the peak of summer is everyone's favorite time of year, and I want to capitalize on that goodwill. Do you think I should talk about history, unity, or the future? I think you should focus on the future. Optimism! <laughs> I like it! Well, I better get to writing my speech. Vanessa ran the summer festival last year. Sophia certainly has a big act to follow, but I'm sure she'll do fine. No, she will do better than fine, I'm sure. Let's, um, take this request. I'm sure we'll be going to the mines. From time to time. Last year, the Fairhaven Summer Festival was included on a list of the best summer activities in the region. Of course, we were at the bottom of the list, but maybe now that you're here, we'll be at the top. Oh. Big expectations. I didn't want to be a florist at first. I wanted to work at a boutique in the city or something, but summer days remind me, hey, this isn't so bad. I get all the best parts of nature without stepping into the sauna that is the outdoors. Must be nice. That actually does sound nice. No school means playing all the video games I didn't have time for during the school year. Violet says I have to be careful though or I'll rot my brain. But video games can be good for you. I can't believe she doesn't know that. Well, uh... I, I, I may be a little biased here, but I definitely agree that video games can be good for you. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, once again, I didn't mean to do that. Any mandrake around? There's some. Ugh. We need these for the harvest boost potions. Hi, Juliet. Are you helping your mom out with summer festival prep? Eh, only because she asked me to. Big parties are not my thing. I do like the legend, though. I wish more stuff like that happened these days. Yeah, big parties are not my thing either. So I totally get you, Juliet. I like spending time one-on-one -on -one or in small groups of friends. But big parties? Uh, I guess it's an introvert thing. But I find big parties to be, uh, well, stressful in a way. Hello. That Francis is such a natty dresser. I want to ask him where he shops, but... Um... Francis is chill. I'm sure he'd take it as a compliment. Besides, you've got a great sense of style, too. 
Hmm. New guy. I... Gotta see if I can find that bookshop of yours at some point. Oh, seaweed. Thank goodness. Now we can make another speed boost. Which weed? Let's actually see if we can find something here too. Nope. One of these days we need to go fishing and fish up a lot of fish that we can then sell to Bruno so we can unlock the next shop tier because then we'll be able to buy squid from him and uh, that'll be pretty awesome. However, let's go and see the coven. See what happens now that we have turned the seasons. Let's pick these up along the way. I've been reading this journal. It belonged to Grandma and... Oh, thank goodness! Oh, I know Hazel took the journal in for rebinding. I'm glad that it's safely back in your hands. There are entries that mention the fairies. Does... Does Fairhaven have fairies? You still have much to learn about the magic on this island. But before I tell you more about that, you must prove that you understand us. As a coven, speak to the Farseer Witch. He will explain. Alright. We've lost many witches over the last few years. I know that someday I get used to the ache those absences leave behind, but I never do. Aww. Your grand wasn't a fan of our masks, but rules are rules. You've got to earn our trust before we can reveal who we really are. Unless... You think you can guess my name? Rumpelstiltskin. Ah, don't be calling the faithful unless you mean it now. You're to complete a test. Each member of the coven will ask you for a magical item. You're to bring it to them. Sounds easy enough. During the day, in town, if you give it to the right person, we'll say so. What? But what if I give it to the wrong person? <laughs> Won't Cameron freak out if I give him some magic doodad? Don't worry. Civilians can't read incantations. It just looks like a blank piece of paper to him. I'm to set you the first task. It has to do with time. Oh, time travel? How far back can I go? You're not ready for that yet, novice spot. You can try pausing time for a moment to give you long enough to finish what you've got to do. It will only work while you're in the place you read the spell. Once you leave that space, time will resume its course. Here's what you need to write the spell. Come to me during the day when you've finished it. Alright. This can be useful. Like when fishing or something. Hey, hey, welcome to the Bad Lighting and Great Costumes Club. We meet every night. Hmm. Don't go near the standing stones. Our coven has kind of a bad history with them. I welcome you to this gathering. 
I gotta remember to speak to the coven members a bit more often to figure out their identities. I think I know, well, I'm certain I know who the Farseer is and I'm sure you know as well. That's, um, really easy to guess. And, um, I'm pretty sure I know who the High Priestess is as well. During summer, my brother Jamie likes to wear kilts made out of the Seton Tartan. Says it gives him better ventilation. Francis said I'd look distinguished in a kilt, but uh, I'll just stick with my jeans. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, if you like your jeans, then no problem. Everybody should be able to wear what they want to wear, what they feel comfortable in, what they like. Hmm. Oh, we already have everything we need. Great, we can give this to, um... Well, the Farseer, tomorrow. Actually, it's already 11pm. Let's just, um, end the episode here and we'll continue on to the next day next time and uh see if my guess to the farseer's identity is correct thank you so much for spending time with me here on the mellow it was lovely to have you I'd like it if you'd leave me a like, and if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content, and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.